Hello, I am Yoshi, a developer advocate at Google, and I am really excited to have the opportunity to showcase a product that I find very useful in my troubleshooting process and can help you maximize your troubleshooting efficiency. I will be covering what this product is, how it works, how it is enabled, and finally, how to set up the newly launched notification channels. Today, I want to talk to you about the error reporting product. So, what is error reporting? As shown on the slide, error reporting looks through all the logs that your application and infrastructure has written out. Then, it finds exceptions, aggregates them, displays them, in an easy to review user interface and notifies you through your preferred channel of email, Vespa, Slack, or through webhooks for triaging and resolution. How does it work? Error reporting has proprietary heuristics that it applies to the logs from your application and Google infrastructure. These heuristics are broad enough to cover exceptions like stack traces and other language framework exceptions. But how is it enabled? There are two main ways it is enabled. The default is the zero touch way if you are a user of cloud logging. The other is sending error events to the product API if you are using another logging platform. So here is the best part. Let me show you how it all works by end-to-end -end demo. In this demo, I will set up an application error simulated via a shell script and configure error reporting notification channels with Slack so that I can receive error alerts. Then I will trigger an error event of stack trace or application error. Next, I will show you how these error messages from the logs are automatically recognized by the error reporting product. And I will show you the received Slack error messages. First, let me show you my simulation script. This script simulates the error messages by Flask, which is Python web application framework. As you can see, here is the templated messages that simulates stack trace from the Flask application. This one. And these templated messages are sent to cloud logging using gcloud command with cvt error. This is pretty simple. Next, I will configure notification channels. To configure the new notification channels of Slack and webhooks, I will go to the error reporting product. Click on configure notifications and then manage notification channels. This redirects you to our managed service for notification channels and there you can add a new channels for Slack. If you haven't linked your Slack web workspace to the Google Cloud project, do so via the navigated OAuth authentication page. Click Allow. Fill in the fields as stated in the popped up dialog. The display name is any name you want to be visible on the channel list. And finally, the channel name is the equivalent name in your Slack, work, Slack workspace. So here, I want to type in error reporting demo, and for display name, type in dev 
channel in Slack. And, and then if you want to test the configuration, press send test notification and check it on Slack. And then you see the test notifi notification is successfully sent to the Slack channel you mentioned. Go back to the dialog and save it. Once you have filled that out, move back to the notification channels on the error reporting page and reload it and make sure that newly added channels, uh, Slack channel is linked to error reporting product. Press OK and save it. Next, we will simulate an exception. To do that, I will run the shell script to send logs via Cloud Logging API. So this script generates 10 error log entries into Cloud Logging. As you can see in the cloud logging UI, those logs are shown as error logs from the application. So the text payload is the templated message in the shell script, and the log is recognized as error logs. Now, I will show you that the exception is in error reporting product. And also, you can see the error message has arrived in Slack. Go to error reporting, and you see that error is bundled as one exception error group. Also, let's go to the Slack. In the Slack channels you configured, you see the new message from the error reporting saying, the error is occurred in this channel. By clicking view error details link, you can drill down into the details of the, the error group that error, uh, error reporting has bundled into. So this one is the the representative error logs and you can see the each logs uh, recognized by the error reporting at, on the bottom of the page. Please note that we have other channels of email and Vespa that you can also enable but I won't cover those in this talk. So as you can see this product is amazing, and so I hope you will use it. Please let me know if you have any questions on my channel. Thank you for listening, and I hope you enjoy this product. See you.